All right, guys, let's talk about retargeting and setting up what we call our bottom of funnel BOF ads. Now, as part of the rapid fire test and as a general approach, we're going to keep our retargeting fairly simple to begin with. And then once we validate our entire funnel, the client is happy with the leads, we're getting a decent amount of leads, et cetera, et cetera, then we can do what we call build out a long tail funnel. So get way more granular and segmented with our retargeting. For now, we're, we're going to keep a 14 day retargeting window open. And what it's going to be is people that viewed our landing page or viewed our funnel or our offer, whatever it is that we are leading with, whatever hook we're leading with, but then excluding people that opted in, right? So excluding people that became leads. So um, as you guys already know, or as you should know, retargeting is there to pretty much improve the results from our campaigns. What we're going to be doing is if you have under 500 people in that audience, and this is probably going to be a bit hard for you to gauge only because custom audiences don't always show the size in ads manager anymore. Uh, but if you're not driving a lot of traffic basically, and you can pretty much tell how many people are probably going to be in your audience by checking how many link clicks or how many landing page views have you sent. So you can look at your top of funnel ads, pull that up in the reporting, and you can pretty much gauge how much traffic you've sent. Now if it's under 500 people, we're going to set that up as a post engagement objective campaign. If it's over, I'd like you to set it up as a conversion objective campaign and test that out. If your conversion objective campaign doesn't feed the budget out properly, switch it to a post engagement. And the third thing that's important to note here is we don't want to send traffic back to the same exact funnel that they initially visited because it just doesn't make sense, right? If someone saw your offer, clicked on your ad, landed on your offer page, which was probably a freebie of some sort, and didn't take action, then it makes no sense to retarget them and send them right back to that same page. That works for e-commerce. It doesn't really work for lead gen. So what we want to do is take a different approach with our ads. And normally what works really well here is sending them to Messenger. So saying to them, send us a message. That's usually a nice, easy solution is getting leads to get in touch via Messenger. And you can also hook up a bot there if you wanted to. So let's have a look at how this could would be set up in the back end. So this is our ad account here. So what I'm going to do is I have uh, need to create the custom audiences for my retargeting. So I'm going to go to my audience tab here. I'm going to click on create a custom audience website traffic. Now here's my funnel here and I have on the funnel I have two standard events. So this one's using a custom event called viewed offer. And then on the second page I have leads. So meaning people that have opted in and they became a lead. So here I want to create a custom audience of people that triggered viewed offer in the last 14 days. And I will name this viewed offer 14 days. And I'm going to create a second custom audience of lead and I'll make this 180 days. So people that leads 180 days, people that opted into our offer in the last 180 days. And I will exclude these people from my targeting. So if I go back inside of the ad account now, so I'm going to create this as a post engagement objective campaign. So over here, because I know it's very small, and I'll name it, give this my naming convention, stage three leads. You could name that um, viewed offer 14 days, all placements. So it's super easy. Now here I'm going to select the custom audience I just created, viewed offer. And then I need to exclude the leads. So I'm going to click up on here and type ex select exclude. 
And now you'll see it's targeting people that viewed the offer. Let's get rid of our country in the last 14 days and excluding those um, that have already opted in. And you can, you can add locations if that's really important or age or anything like that as well. I'm going to keep it to all placements for here because this is a warm audience um, and all the placements will work really well here. And keep it to a fairly small budget and if I realize that it's feeding the ad spend, it's going through the entire ad spend every day, then I can start to scale that budget up a, a bit. So now I'm going to click continue. Now what you'll start to realize here when you come in here is that inside of a post engagement objective campaign you don't have many options in terms of ad format right you you can't create a single image link click ad like this and you can't create a carousel ad so if you want to use an ad like this what you have to do is you actually have to create the ad inside of a test campaign that you create that's either a conversion objective or a traffic objective and the campaign never goes live. You never spend budget on it, but it's there to basically allow you to create these ad formats. And then once you do that, you go use existing post. And so I've got mine here that I created inside that test campaign. And I'm going to go back in here and enter this post and click submit. And then I'm going to confirm. And now we've got our retargeting set up, ready to pick up any more leads that potentially dropped through the cracks of our funnel.